Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom and it is day two of our September 2021 release and I have a card and treat to share. Hey, so I am using Jaded Blossom's Halloween banner dies, card mat dies, milk carton dies, the Halloween dies, the mini tags dies three, and their coffin dies, which are awesome. And I'm also using the most adorable new stamp sets, Batty for You, super cute, adorable images and I'm also using Boo Crew that's soup that's new super cute again like I said and I went ahead and I pre-colored colored these images and I cut out those um, the tag images with a milk carton die and the um, little individual gnomes were cut out with my brother scan and cut with a 0.4 border all the Copics will be listed on my blog and I'm also using Doodlebug's Pumpkin Party 6-inch pad. So I've got my Martha Stewart scoreboard and a piece of um, orange zest cardstock, 4.25 by 11, scored at 5.5 with my Teflon bone folder. This is from Paper Tray Ink. And I've got a piece of pattern paper from that pad um, cut out using my card mat dies. And I've just got my ATG gun here and I'm applying tape to the back. And I'm going to pop that down on the front of my card base making sure it's in the, opens in the right direction. There we are. So really cute stuff. There we go. Just going to make sure it's stuck down well. And I've got a piece. Uh, I went ahead and I stamped the image um, or the sentiment onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. All my images are stamped on that. And I went ahead and I cut out a strip of um, dot stripe 12 inch um what's it called mandarin dot cardstock mandarin dot stripe and that's just an eighth of an inch wider than that largest mini tag dies um mini tag die that i cut out there just because i'm going to be doing some layering now the black coffin was cut out using the front layer of the coffin die out of uh, the 12 inch beetle black gingham linen and i'm just going to add that to my card base just kind of cattywampus there and then I'm going to layer my um, mini tag die with my sentiment that says have a fantastic Halloween on top of both of those so this is really easy I just took colors basically from that pattern in the background so there is my image colored with Copic markers all listed on my blog I used ink on threes blackout ink there we go and now I'm going to pop this cute little guy up with him with some Stampin' Up dimensionals, just you know to give him a little dimension, which is always great with these little images from Jada Blossom. You gotta love these adorable gnomes. I also used a Secura white jelly roll pen and a number ten just to add some highlights to this guy. Um, there are also um, outline dies for this stamp set here. I didn't use them because I didn't have them yet. Uh, so I did use my brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border. All my dies are cut out using my Gemini machine. There we are. That's an EK Success reverse tweezers there. And that is a piece of um, paper tray and black cardstock. And I cut out the Halloween banner dies. And I'm just trimming them down. And I'll add that to the front of my card with some art glitter glue. So, you know, easy stuff. It's just in a little cheap bottle from Amazon. There we go. And how cute is that? And these little um, bats, that's the out of the big one is from the Halloween dies. The smaller one are from the Halloween banner dies. And I cut those out with um, Orchid Dot Stripe from Doodlebug. And I'm just going to pop these guys up with uh, the same Stampin' Up dimensionals. I had to trim them down a little bit to make them work, but you know. They work. You might as well use all every single little bit. And that's what I do. So I'm just going to be adding three little adorable bats to the front of my project. Uh, just, you know, for a little color. And um, yeah, so I'm just trimming down, like I said, that piece of Stampin' Up! Dimensional paper. And then I will use that to pop up those tiny bats. Now you can uh, cut separate bats and add them on top of the uh, banner, but I found that you know you could tell what those were, so I didn't bother adding the stitch dies to the top of them um, and just cut them out of plain black from uh, paper tray ink. So there we go. Just making sure I've got all my dimension going down. And I'll try to put these bats in a visual triangle. That's kind of what I always do. 
and we'll add that last one with my EK Success tweezers. And then there we go. How cute is that? So now this is a piece of uh, Nina um, Solar Crest, only 65 pound weight. And I cut it at four by five and a quarter inches with my paper trimmer. And I'm just gonna add that with my ATG gun. Now this is a, a leftover piece of paper from that six inch pumpkin party pad. And I just um, cut out two of the um, banners. Like you know how they have the uh, sheet of paper that has the, sorry, borders on it. And I just cut out two of them together and that's it. It just looks kind of cute on the inside of the card. And then that's basically the card. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make the coffin treat for you. Now this is a piece of paper tray ink black cardstock. And what I like about their black cardstock is it's got a nice heavy weight and it's great for a treat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add red line tape to all those tabs. You notice that I folded all the tabs, folded all the score lines, and I'm just going to trim off um, that red line tape because you can't tear this stuff. Um, with my EK Success tweezers, they've got non-stick blades, which makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just quickly adding all of the, you know, all the sticky to my tabs so I can put together this adorable coffin. Well, coffins aren't really adorable, but you know, picture it filled with a treat with treats or with candy and, and it can be cute. There we go. So I'm adding that last piece there and I will rub the that, make sure that there's good contact to make it easy to pull the release paper off. So I was just using my Teflon bone folder, folder to do that. And what I do is I bend them in and I wanna get those corners as tight as I can. So you're gonna wanna have that red line tape right up against the score line. Now, not touching the score line, but as close as you can to it. And then that way it'll make your corners nice and tight. There we go. I'm just gonna put stick the rest of this together and oops, I forgot one. These things happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little piece to that little tab. Now you can use glue, you're just gonna have to hold it. Um, but I find red line tape is awesome from when I'm making treats with these treat dies. So there is the bottom. And I cut out a piece of the layer, um, a layer of that same Mandarin dot cardstock from um, Doodlebug, the 12 inch. And I'm going to actually line the bottom. You don't have to do this. But if you use double-sided paper, you'd already have a, a different pattern on the inside. But I just thought it would look cute to add some pattern to the inside. So that's why I am doing that. And I'm just adding it. How cute is that? There we go, ready to fill with treats. Now I have a piece of orange zest cardstock, the same stuff that I made the card base with. Paper tray ink, nice and heavy weight. And I went ahead and, you know, added the red line tape before, you know, before filming. And I'm gonna quickly, um, you know, stick all the tabs together here. So I'm gonna fold on all the, uh, all the fold lines you know, all the scored lines, and then I'm going to stick this all together. Now this is the top piece of the coffin. And like I said, this is like just too darn cute. I just love this little coffin die. You could fit money in here, treat, a little gift. There we go. So I'm just gonna put it together. And there you have it, how cute is that? So now we're gonna decorate. So now I cut a piece of paper from that same pad, the Pumpkin Party 6 inch, and I'm going to add that to the front of this little treat box with, an ATG with some ATG tape. There we go. Cute stuff, eh? And now I'm going to decorate. So I have that um, little tag cut out using the milk carton die, that front layer. And that, that is stamped on Nina um, Solar White 80 pound cardstock colored with Copics. And I'm going to, I also added the orchid dot stripe, the stripey side, just, a, and I cut it one eighth of an inch larger than that milk carton die. And I'm just trying to decide on the layout here, but now I've decided. So it went ahead and you'll notice if you cut these bats apart right next to the wing, and then you cut some of them, leaving the, end, leaving the ends on, you'll have some, um, you'll be able to fit these bats all the way around the edge of this little treat. So that, the end there, you leave the ends completely on. The little one, that little tiny one, you wanna cut that, the little, the little um, 
the little banner, like the, the little stripe part. You want to cut it right next to the wing. And then that will fit perfectly there. There we go. Do the same thing on this little one using the art glitter glue. Hopefully I'm explaining this well. It's just, you know, it's just, uh, it depends on where you cut that little banner. You can just use your little scissors and cut it to fit. And that's what I did. Now, the long side, you're going to want to um, cut two of them, leaving the tails on completely. You'll see that uh, the little black line, like I said, will go straight to the, right straight to the edge or as close as I can get it. And then this is the last piece. There we go. I'm gonna pop that one on. Oh, it's not the last piece. I've gotta add one more, one more side. Sorry guys, so this is where I cut it. See, I cut it and let, let the, let, let the, I keep wanting to call it a tail. Let the line be full. There we are. And then I will add that onto the treat. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. So now I'm going to add my little sentiment on there and I'll be adding little black bats. Those were cut out of the same paper tray ink cardstock. And that's what we're gonna do there. And we're just going to stick that straight down onto the front of the card, or, or <laughs> on the front of the treat, sorry guys. There we are with my ATG tape. And now I'm gonna pop up uh, with 3D foam squares. These are the black ones from Scrapbook Adhesives. And I'm just going to pop my little bats up onto the front of my little coffin. Now I'm gonna bend the little wings up so you get a little dimension, because this is a treat, right? You're not mailing it, so. And I'll have to cut these ones in half using those same EK Success non-stick non tweezers, or scissors, sorry guys, uh, scissors, um, to add those to the front of this same treat. And then basically that will be it. Like super cute stuff, eh? So, you know, make sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and check out all the design team's adorable projects. They always knock it out of the park. Um, you're going to want, I, I think you're going to want this re release. It's just too cute. There we go. All set to fill up. And there we are. Now, if you want to get this whole set early, you just have to go check out the Gotta Have It Now on the Jada Blossom blog. And then that's about it. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow because I will have a new video to share with you. So see you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.